Good morning and welcome to CMC Markets on Tuesday the 1st of November and this quick look at the markets and I'm paying particular attention today to oil prices in the wake of yesterday's sharp decline to one month lows of Brent and WTI prices. Also going to have a quick look at the FTSE 100 and also have a quick look at the pound against the dollar after last night's rally on the back of the news that uh, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney will be staying until the summer of 2019. But let's start off with Brent crude prices and that sharp decline that we saw last night appears to have found some support at that long term trend line that I've keep been keeping an eye on now for several weeks from the lows that we saw um, earlier this year in January 2016. So at the moment we're still in this uptrend but I think this uptrend is predicated on an awful lot of expectation about what OPEC may or may not do um, by the end of this month and this agreement that they arrived at in Algiers at the end of September to freeze or cap production. Now ultimately the centre does not appear to be holding here and at the moment we do appear to be finding a significant area of resistance between 52 and 53 dollars a barrel and thus far we're not really seeing any evidence whatsoever that, that is likely to change particularly if we look at the weekly chart we can also see that there's potential for a very very strong downward thrusts in the oil price over the last two weeks the picture becomes slightly more bearish if you actually look at it in the context of a candle chart here and this candle here is is potentially quite bearish but even of itself it, it doesn't scream conclusively that oil prices are looking particularly toppy um, simply because of the fact that the rebound has only really taken place over the course of the last five or six months it's a similar sort of story on the WTI again similar sort of um, price setup again we're still above the trend line support from the lows that we saw in February. In this case, we're well above the support. So at the moment, the momentum still favours an upward movement in oil prices until such times as both contracts break lower. Now, we did see a bearish engulfing day in the middle of October. If we look at the weekly chart, it also looks fairly bearish. But once again, while we're above this uptrend line, there is scope for rebounds in the oil price while we're above these key levels. I think what's more worrying is the fact that the FTSE 100 does appear to be showing some signs of exhaustion, particularly at the levels that we're seeing right now. Certainly, I think since we saw the lows in June, we have gone in a fairly orderly fashion. We've, we've moved very very slowly higher but what we're seeing here is a little bit concerning because what we've seen since the peaks in October around about 7,120 is a very significant lacklustre rebounds in the price action and if we actually look at the monthly chart and look at the candle there that that is a that is potentially worrying that's potentially a greystone doji. We're not quite there yet and certainly there is scope for us to try and rebound back through 7000 but unless we get back above 7013 very very soon I would be concerned that we're going to probably tick back down towards that 6800 level. That very long upper shadow on the candle there is a very is, is a significant worry for me because we weren't as able to sustain the levels above 7,000, 7,100, which suggests that potentially maybe the market is getting a little bit tired at these sorts of elevated levels. I'm going to finish up with the pound against the dollar because we've seen a decent rebound over the course of the past um, 24 hours from lows of around about 121. There does appear to be a significant base around between 120, 90, and 121 th through here but we are currently struggling to get back significantly through the 122.70 area and that's really the, the area that I'm targeting to really suggest that we're going to get a stabilisation in the pound against the dollar. What I would hope to see here is a move through 122.70 and through these peaks here in the middle of October around about 123.30 to really argue for a move back towards these mid-October peaks of around about 125, 124, 125. 
that sort of area which is really what I'm looking for for a bit of a stabilization at the moment we do appear to have found I think a little bit of a new range the lower end of that range is around about 120.80 the upper end is around about 123 so I think we need to see a push through 123 to suggest a retest of 125 so that's it for today thanks very much for listening this is Michael Houston talking to you from CMC markets